Hey everyone, Matt from Workshop Tinkers here. Uh, I've made some improvements, I hope. Uh, actually, I've, I've, uh, I'm recording this video before actually testing it. So if this is up, it's either, either failed completely and uh, I will never use this, but I'm putting it up for posterity or for people to make fun of me. Or uh, it's worked completely and yay, I'm, I, I've, I've, whatever. Uh, so I wanted to talk about uh, support material. Support material is used for overhangs. So this was printed with this side down towards my fingertips. I wanted to make sure this round part was perfect. So I printed support material, which thankfully with Simplify, Simplify 3D, it works great. It's the only one I've found so far that actually lets does proper uh, support material other than this looked like it didn't work too uh, well. But anyways, uh, what I've done is two parts here. I need to rem remove this. There we go. And this. Come on. But there we go. Okay. All the... Support materials done. What I've done so far is replace the uh, door for the filament with a custom model that should hopefully allow me to. It actually goes like this. So it's not. Uh, I'll clean it up in a bit and show you how it goes. But uh, hopefully it means that I don't have to remove the screws anymore. I haven't reassembled everything, so let me clean this up, see how it works together, and we'll go from there. Back in a minute. Okay, got the part installed, partially. Uh, I will say I'm probably going to keep working on this part. Uh, let's get you over here before I completely release it, because while well, it does work, it's a bit stiff, and yeah, it it. it it mostly works. So what it is is so we don't have to keep taking the screws in and out. You force that in. Actually, it, it works reasonably well. My only problem is getting it out it takes a bit of force. So um, let me get this loaded up and try it out. So uh, I will warn people, everyone, against taking the screws out because I've had one break and one just it, it's gone. I, I don't know where it is. I have to look. If it's on the floor, it's gone forever. But I'm down to one, two, three screws and the two in the bottom holding it together. I think the, the two in the bottom can replace both these screws, so I might actually move this one. If this works, if the filament loads and is solid, I'll install it and see how it goes. If not, I'll show why it fails and I'll keep working on this model I think part of my problem is I didn't leave any room for, uh, well, for slop. It's very, very, very tight. And if you can see this middle part is sticking out, you can't really see it. It's got too much, whatever the heck that is. Uh, I'm sure as I use it, I'll loosen up. Man, it's very much brighter in camera in real life. It's actually very dark blue, but this is almost the same color as that in the camera. This is like uh, turquoise, and this is a dark, almost navy blue. That's weird. Oh well, you can see it better. But let me uh, load some filament. Uh, well, actually, here, I'll just load some filament. So I got my bronze. There's my snips. So, I will say, if you've unloaded filament without snipping it, you have the weird end there. Snip it at an angle. Get a nice good feed. This is no matter if you have a long tube or not. It doesn't matter. And yeah, sorry about the accent. I've been watching a lot of British TV and I just picked stuff up and it'll go away just probably not in this video <laughs> okay there it is too far back it up yeah. 
Come on. Load. Nope. Let me get my snips in there so I can pull it. And this is the problem I've had every single time I've loaded. Or it just doesn't want to load straight. You just have to kind of tweak it. And though normally I'm not working around a camera. So it goes faster. Okay, there it goes. It's in. Close. Grab the... So I've, I've printed up two of these. This one's broken. Completely off. As you can see. So that's the downside of using PLA. If I like this design, I'll probably print all this up in PETG. Because it's almost as strong as ABS. And uh, it's a lot easier to print with. So I will... Actually, I'm going to assemble this because that felt like it worked. I'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, so... Cheers, everyone. Um, let me get a drink. I have started a print. Let me, uh, okay. Actually, I had a problem recently with the filament on this roller. So this is a temporary setup, if you can't tell. My uh, main printer has a spot next to it for this, and my next video will be a side-by-side -side comparison. I got a print going. While it's warming up, it's almost there. It's going to start actually in about 20 seconds or so. I'll talk about the parts I printed. These are a couple of rejects. The one was upside down. The other one broke even though it printed perfectly well. Um, what I've got is, so instead of the single part here that came from the factory, I removed the inner part which is the, had a little tiny roller, a little tiny bearing and a couple of springs and four screws. I removed that and used that as the same part. So it's a reuse but I don't have to re replicate. I've got this spot here for it and the holes. This is a reject I printed upside down. It uh, sagged because of that. But my thoughts was a couple of pegs underneath and a big old peg on top. Or perfect. What I'm probably going to do is make this bigger. I might remove these completely. I don't know. It is moving. Let's see if it uh, prints filament. So I'm going to move the camera. Sorry, motion sickness. It's going to not be the best. I'm trying to go slow. Let's get you zoomed in so you can see if it's working or not. It'll uh, have to feed filament in. And you're probably going to see my face in there as I look. Uh, trying to remember which things I have to loosen to be able to. Okay. Actually, let's see if. So it's doing the first pass of the skirt. It's kind of a bit extra there. It does both passes and starts with the center. I'm going to say this is a success, but it's, it's not looking too good. Uh, let me get in there. Oh, crap. Yeah. I had the filament on the wrong corner. It wasn't feeding too well. Uh, are you still... Right there. That looks good, right? What's it doing? What's it doing? Okay. Uh. <laughs> Oops. Uh. Unplug the USB. It lost connection there. Uh, let me restart that. While we're waiting for it to restart, let me talk some more. I'll, I'll bring this out wider so you can see or I don't have to worry about seeing so much. Can I resume? Please let me resume. Oh, looks like it might.
Let it get back up to temp. Okay, it's not going to start printing. You can't see it, but it looks like it might actually be working. My worry about this whole thing was it wasn't going to press tightly enough, but it might just press perfectly. I'm going to let it run. I'll come back and tell you about it. All right. All right. While it's uh, printing, and it seems to be successful so far, I'm going to wait for it to get a bit further before I say for sure. I want to ask, answer a couple questions I was asked previously. One was, what was I using for this, uh, the wire uh, organization? Uh, what I have here is this stuff. It is, what is it called? It is flexible sleeve it's got a brand name but what it is is uh, it, it's, it's the same stuff that's used in power supplies and such you press it together like a Chinese finger trap it literally is the same stuff from the cheapo stuff from the early 2000s late 90s I grew up with a Chinese finger trap that's literally this stuff um, but you press it together it gets big you feed whatever wire through it, you can poke in the end a little bit, and uh, as you go through, you just press it together and feed it through and pull it tight. This is one way. The other way that they show in the 101 Hero website has the plastic wrap. It's, uh, I think it's called wire wrap. It's just uh, plastic tube that's been cut in a spiral that you just wrap around. I had this on t hand. I didn't have the other one. So this is what I used. It's nice. Uh, it's used in computer power supply, cover the cables. A lot of other places. I know we use it at my work. For a lot of stuff just to organize cables, give it a nice clean look. The other question is, uh, I stay in my first video, I moved to glue stick instead of tape, so uh, I don't even see the tape, I think I threw it away. Oh, nope, there it is. So tape, this is just uh, masking tape. It's, it's meant for, originally for painters to give nice clean lines. The reason why stuff sticks to it, it has a wax on it that allows anything hot to really kind of melt the wax and stick. Um, I originally had a problem with this printer. It was just too low, it went through the masking tape. Masking tape works. My other printer, I use glue stick, mostly. I also use uh, 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 PEG, P-E-A. Uh, anyway, it, it's a sheeting element that I don't like for PLA. So for PLA, which is what came with the 101 Hero, I use glue stick. In this case, Elmer's either white glue or disappearing purple. They both work just fine. I think they're basically the same thing with just a dye added. But anyways, uh, you just put it on. I do strips or circles. Don't put it on too thick, that'll screw stuff up. Don't put it on too thin, that'll screw stuff up. Uh, don't do it perfect, because that's way too time consuming. I remove the glass, run it under water, wash it off, or use a wet rag between every print, mostly. You don't have to do every print. It, it just is more reliable if you do every print and clean it off. But that's what I use for those of you who have asked. And now, uh, this is almost finished with the first layer, which is good enough for me. I'm going to zoom you in, if I can. So, let's see what we got here. Well, the important part is the filament is feeding. You can see it is getting full. Uh, let me try it zoom in a bit more so you can really see will it focus focus come on okay it's not going to focus right there you go 
Okay, can I go more? Focus. 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 It's like a dog that doesn't respond right. Okay, anyway, so it's not going to focus real close. And I don't really want to subject you to shaky, zoomed in nausea. The answer is my modification is working. It's on the second layer so far of... I can't read what it says. It's going to be 50 minutes and it's 5 minutes in. Uh, it's working. I will post the STLs. Uh, I will put them on Thingiverse and post the uh, links in the description. Uh, so my goal was to make this easier to swap out filament. Was I completely successful? No, not really. Uh, it, it is a little difficult. This stuff is a bit tight. It needs improvement. I will continue improvement as I make improvements. I'll put it on the same uh, Thingiverse, I guess, uh, file. I've never posted Thingiverse, by the way. Uh, it is what I where I get all my files from and where 101 Hero got all theirs. But that's that's the short and long of it. It seems to work. I'll make it available because while the makers have not said it's a rep wrap, this is a rep wrap community source. My next step is to do something I've talked about since my first or second video reviewing this, but to uh, do support. So I've had several ones. My first one, I wanted to 3D print several interlocking pieces that go around the top and the bottom to strengthen this. It's been pointed out to me it might be easier to use a piece of wood or a plexiglass or whatever and just glue it and screw it in place. And that's actually what I'm really leaning for right now. I've also been pointing out you can strengthen by doing just cabling. You can use an entire piece of plexiglass. The entire piece of plexiglass though is I'm I'm a uh, leaning away from that because you have the enclosure problems because this doesn't have a part fan PLA needs cooling to keep from stringing and to get crisper cleaner prints uh, you have an enclosure you make that even worse ABS you need less part cooling but some is needed so it actually might improve having a fully enclosed unit for ABS I need a test this you know, is capable of ABS, how well, who knows. Um, I'm really leaning towards just some, I will probably use quarter inch plywood because I have scraps of that laying around, plexiglass, plastic, glass if you have it. I don't know anybody who can just go out and get glass in custom made strips for dirt cheap. Um, but my original reason was to do printed parts was anybody with this printer could make them because this printer prints. I, I'm still thinking about it. I still have those parts that go in the uh, these ones here that go in it in the uh, in the what's the word depressions and try to just fill it in and glue it and stuff. Uh, still possibility. I really like people's input, but I'm probably just going to decide something to do it. Maybe, probably not next video. Your ne the next video you see is probably going to be a side-by-side -side comparison with my main Carissian printer. And I'll explain that in that video. Uh, but I might have improved that by then. I don't know. But either way, thanks everyone for watching. Sorry I'm a little bit drunk tonight, because cheers uh, I will post the STLs and hope everyone enjoys them please give me feedback I love to hear from everyone thanks hope to see you next time have a good one